Okay, so today I want to go through this PowerPoint one, Sam Ender Project two. So first thing you need the instructions. I've already opened these, and I've even printed myself a copy of them. Um, you also need two files here. These PowerPoint files, I mean these picture files. You need to download these and save these. So you want to save the files. Don't open them. And I already have those there in my download folder here. So now we need to open the PowerPoint, and I do want to open that. So obviously the first thing we always want to do is enable editing, go up here to file, save as, and I want to go to browse and I'm going to put this in a folder. So fall 21 CS110 homework, I'm going to make a new folder, PowerPoint, and I'm just going to name it PowerPoint. I should be fine with that because they're not as picky as deal, but I do definitely want to go in here, open this folder and put a two behind the name. So save that file. Okay, so the first thing it says in instructions is that you work an easy packing deal and your company's business services help prepare presentation for company speech. So start on the title slide. Title slide is always the first slide. And by selecting the title, promises of our customers. So we go in here and select this and then change the font to Gothic. So I have to select all of this and then I'm going to change the font. And the easiest way to do this is just type Gothic, start to type Gothic. And as I go down here, it wants the Franklin Gothic Heavy. So I find Franklin Gothic Heavy. Okay, with the title site still displaying, change the subtitle font color to orange. So the subtitle font color is here. And we want to go up here to font colors, and we want to change this to orange. So that's usually a standard color here. Oh, accent one. So it wants the orange accent one, lighter 40%. So it's going to be this top one here. Oh, right here, 40%. Orange accent one, lighter 40%. And it tells me fifth column, fourth row. That's fifth column, fourth row. So I should have looked at that. Then bold and italicize the subtitle text and increase the font size to 20 points. So I can hit the increase font deal twice, or I could just went in here and pick 20. But anyway, now it's 20 font, all the right colors of that. Step three, with the title slide still displaying, insert support people into the slide one as shown in figure one. So they give me pictures, and now I'm going to put it in the picture. So right here, I'm just going to click this picture, and then I'm going to go into my downloads. That's where I save my pictures, and I want the their support people. So I don't have the people here. Uh, Hang on a sec. Let me go see. Did, oh, more files here. So I didn't click them all. So I definitely want to save that one. And I want to save that one. So make sure you download all four. This could be an issue. Make sure I save them. Now I'll be able to go in here, click this. And now I have people. Okay, cute little people. Now on slide two. So I go to slide two here. We will have a caring workplace, select the word caring in the title placeholder. So I just double click that word and it selects that word and replace it with supportive. In the first paragraph, set goals of individual and department level, select the words individual and department. Set goals of individual and department. So we want to just come back, make sure I just have those selected, and replace them with the word all. So the new paragraph reads, set goals at all levels. Increase the indent level to second paragraph. So this will be the second paragraph. And to increase indent level, it's right here. So I increase the first level. Increase the indent level set to provide feedback and coaching. So it becomes a second level paragraph. Decrease the indent level of the third paragraph. So they want me to take this one and go back out. Okay. And I can always go check to make sure they give me the very last page here. Yeah. So I looked at the very last page to make sure. So with slide two still displaying enter, we will acknowledge problems and apologize about placing blame in the notes pane. So down here is the notes pane. If this doesn't show, you can, you know, sometimes bring it up. Also, you can go into view notes and click notes, but it should be there. So we will 
acknowledge problems and apologize. Okay, and then it's got a period, so you want to make sure you get the period. So even a little period here being missing, you can take points off. So I want to make sure that I have everything that's in bold. We will acknowledge problems, problems, and apologize without placing blame. Okay, now we're on to slide three, step six. On slide three, we will have integrity change the slide layout to two contents. So up here under layout, I want two content. So that's this one. And then insert support integrity. So I go over here and find the pictures. And I want this one in there to the right content. Resize the picture. So up here it wants a height. So I just go up here 4.5. Hit enter. So that rechanges the height to 4.5. With slide three still select, insert a new slide using picture with caption layout. So I go here to insert oops, a new slide. And I want picture and caption so I want picture with caption layout so that now becomes my slide four on the new slide four enter we will make customers feel special in the title place folder oh it should all be capital I'll show you a cool trick if you forget to capitalize stuff so you probably maybe remember this from or I don't know if it's in here. It is in the deal. So I'm going to case here and capitalize each word. So I need to highlight this. And then tell her I want to capitalize each word. So you have to highlight the sentence, but that way I forgot to make each one and make sure that each one is capitalized. They were. We will make customers feel special. Italicize the word special. So I'm double click the word. Hit italicize. To draw attention to this word, change the font color of this word to green accent three. So I'm coming over to green accent three, darker 25%. And then underline this word. Well, they really want that special deal. Now, insert the file support deal in the right content placeholder. So over here, they want me to click this and they want me to. With the customer over there. What am I going to do with the other one? Hopefully, eight. So move slide four so it becomes the last slide in the presentation, slide six. Okay, guess I'm not going to do anything with the other content placeholder. And it looks like the picture in the final. So on slide four, we will show respect, change the layout to two content. On the new slide four. So I want to make sure I go through the new slide four and change the layout. So I come up here to layout and I want two content. Create a multi level bullet list in the right content placeholder. So all I have to do is just start clicking here in the bullet list and enter show, show, and let's see, it's not capitalized. Hit enter, listen. Actively give feedback, ask relevant questions. That's the second third level deal. Okay, now on slide five. Once again, I'm going to go to the final here and look at the last page to make sure these none of these were indented. Oh, there's five pages of structures getting there. So this was the new slide four. I can see really fast these are indented. So I don't see where it said that, but I'm going to indent these. So it shows this one indented one, and it shows this one indented twice. That's what the final looks. Let me go back and read the instructions again. So, on site change too late, create a multi level bulleted list and show up these first level paragraph. Enter second first level paragraph. Okay. 
and then give us a second level. Yeah, it does start over. So, and that's what a multi-level bolted list is, where these are indented down through. So that makes sense. Okay, on slide five, change lab. I did that. Five. So on slide five, I'm gonna change the. Nope, I haven't did that one. So step ten. Go up here to layout to content again. Okay. Then insert the file support deal in the right content placeholder. So I go to pictures. I want support satisfaction. Okay. In the right content. Resize the picture so it's six inches wide. So I go to width, type six, hit enter. Okay, now check the spelling. So I go up the top, click the first one, go to review, check the spelling of everything. The first one's acknowledge and provide clear explanation of acknowledge mistakes. So I think they just want to acknowledge. And I'm going to the final to make sure. Yep, it's this first one. So I changed to that one. Okay. So they had one mistake in that one. So that should be it. So I go up and save this. Now I go ahead and close it. I always close it that way. I know I've saved it. Go in here and drop this in here. Go into my homework. Go to my PowerPoint. Submit this. And submit this for grading. Go to Grade Summary Report. Open. Took a little bit to deal. New editing. Okay. Then the very last slide is your report. So here, if there's problems, they'll list them on the slides. But this is where we're going to go here. We're going to go here and snip this. Go to New. Make sure we get the name, the top, and the score. Do not submit the PowerPoints to me for your score. Please submit the pictures. Anyway, I always save this as, and I go into pictures. I've got a junk folder here, and I name it score. And this is 11 underscore, and this is 15 for today's date. So I will turn that into Canvas, and I am finished.